as a fourth generation dairy farmer from Texas, and been on my own since 1979, it's extremely gratifying to see USDA aligned with farmers on major issues that not only impact what we do on our farms today and in the future, but also for our next generation, our legacy. We know that your personal commitment and support for Fuel Up to Play 60 has helped propel the program to the great success and impact in children's lives that we are seeing today. We also know that you have another passion. That's the NFL and specifically the Pittsburgh Steelers. A cowboy fan, that's tough. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and you know, it, it's not just the current Steelers team who's doing pretty well in a tough division even without their quarterback but also for Steelers of the past, the Steeler legacy. So we thought, Mr. Secretary, that we'd invite an old friend to join us today. We thank you for your commitment to farmers and to the children and to our Fuel Up to Play 60 program. So we have a special guest. This person is a true Steeler great. He played in nine Pro Bowls, five AFC championships, four Super Bowls, Two against the Cowboys. Two against the Cowboys. <laughs> you had to bring that up. Had to do it. A lot of you guys, like I was back in the 70s that really watched football, will never forget the legendary Immaculate Reception play. He was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1990. And he also has a shared passion and commitment with you and dairy farmers around the country to provide healthier foods for our nation's youth. An alumni of Penn State University, he served on, huh? oh, there we go. <laughs> he served on the advisory board for Penn State's Center for Food Innovation. In fact, in 2009, he was named a Conte Professor by Penn State's School of Food Hospitality Management for his commitment to better, more nutritious foods for kids. Sounds like some of our programs. Mm -hmm. Mr. Secretary, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming NFL Hall of Famer, Pittsburgh Steeler legend, number 32, Franco Harris. Professor, it is an honor to meet you. Well, thank you very much. Can I show you something? Absolutely. <laughs> 40 years ago, my mom uh, was uh, recovering from uh, substance abuse and, 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 and addiction. She got a job at Mellon Bank, and she was in charge of the safe deposit box. Uh, and one day, a guy walked into her uh, area, and she recognized him, and she asked if he would sign a, a statement, a little note to her son, who she knew was a big Pittsburgh Steeler fan. Do you recognize that signature? Oh my God, <laughs> I do. I've kept it for 40 years. Oh my God, <laughs> Secretary. Well, I uh, guess you don't need this new one then. Oh, right? yeah. oh yeah, I've got two boys. Or, or, Whoa. or uh, this one here. Oh, um, yeah, I'll take that one for sure. <laughs> I'll be wearing that home. Thank you well, very, oh my gosh. It's an honor to be up here with you. And, hey, look at that. And, Hey, you know, I, I, I know the Steelers are, are missing a couple of tackles. Do you think maybe if I... <laughs> some eligibility left here. Oh, thank you, Frank. This is and great. a backup quarterback. Would you well, no, 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 no. <laughs> for that? Hey, would you guys... Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, thanks. Oh, uh, Neil, I was going to mention, you mentioned the two Super Bowls against the Cowboys, but you didn't mention that we beat them, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Or maybe that's common knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> You're bigger and stronger than I am. I'm not <laughs> I drink <Hey>. my milk. <laughs> Would you guys have time to answer a few questions sure. real quick? You bet. Great. Sure. Could we have a seat? Sure. 